Hello, Chris and Gavi, Retroheads, and we are doing something a little bit different. We're going to be doing a bit podcasty tonight. Um, we thought we'd try and do something new where if there's a hot topic that maybe got me or Gav riled, mainly me, <laughs> and we want to record it without waiting a week or so to get together, we thought we'd, we'd try this, didn't we, Gav? Yeah, more like a month, really, isn't it, than a week? What we want to get together, yeah. yeah. We, we can sometimes we can think of a topic, and by the time we're both organising it when we're free, then we get together, and then we've got to record it, and then I've got to edit and get it out. It could be like a month down the line, so we thought if we try this, if we have anything that we want to discuss, we can jump straight on it, get it recorded, and hopefully get it out. Um, so we'll see how it works. I, and I thought YouTube stopped you from getting it out these days, Chris. <laughs> no one knows what happens in the waist down, Gav. No one knows. <laughs> Telling your eyes, <laughs> right? But anyway, the topic of choice, Gav. What's got me riled at this moment in time? Which which one are you going to pick? <laughs> That's more the question, isn't it, Chris? Yeah. What one that got you riled. Right. Well, I seen a video of someone on Twitter opening a sealed PS2 game. Right. And just why? I, just, I don't like it. Why, why? It's that whole thing of people, gamers versus collectors, all over again. We've did a video on this before in the past, haven't we? Gamer versus collector. But it's just the whole. I understand the difference between a gamer and a collector. But why not leave that game sealed and let a collector have the chance of owning that sealed game instead of him being smug? Opening what was this. That riled you about it then, Chris? Was it the fact that he opened a sealed game because he was smug about it? Because everyone was kicking off about him doing it. No, no, no one kicked off. To be honest, everyone was on his side saying, "Well done, sir, liberating the game. Games are meant to be played." And I wouldn't say he was smug about it. It was more just along lines of games should be played. But yeah, I was just kind of like, but yeah, it was. I think I checked the price. It would get that game for seven pound from say X. So for a PS2 game, that that's a decent price for a PS2 game. It's 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 not a it's not a cheap fifty pence game, but it's not a what, massive. What? Oh, what was it? Was it Jack, a? Uh, something like that. It was Back, what? Bank Jack and Daxter, Ratchet and Clank, something like that. No, it was a fighting game. I'm sure, it was a fighting game. Tekken Tekken Seven. Tekken Tekken Four. No Tekken. Tekken Seven's on like the uh, PS3, I think, something like that. I probably must have been maybe Tekken 4, and it was definitely a Tekken game. I know it was a Tekken game, now that I think of it. Um, and I think it was the Platinum. It wasn't a normal release, I think it was a Platinum release. So what's what's the problem then? Because it was still a sealed game from a PS2 era, and I don't understand why he had to open it. Why not give someone else a chance of owning a sealed game? For, for me, someone might have had nostalgia for that game. I thought, you know what, I've always wanted that game sealed. Like, I myself would love a link to the past sealed as a nice piece of art. So somebody fancied a platinum Tekken. Sealed. Yeah, but who knows how many of those games is open. <laughs> if he wants to play that game, why not go and just get an open copy? Or well, even swap that, or what? He's what? just done the, the collectors a favour by yeah. making it a bit more rare then, hasn't yeah. he, really? Well, right, come on, what, what's your opinion on sale games, Gav, in that situation? Does it not bother you, but it's above you? Well, it doesn't bother us if people open them. Because I, I kind of do agree that games are meant to be played. But I couldn't bring myself to open one. I've got sale games. The only reason I buy sale games is because they're the same price or cheaper than an open game when I buy them, you know? So, I, I, and I'll begrudge buying them because it means I have to buy it again if I want to play it. Yeah, well, again, no. So why are you buying sale games and if you want to play them? Are you going to open them games? Right, are you So you're going to open them games? No, I can't. So, but you're a gamer, you're buying them games to play, so why have you just wasted money on nothing? Well, yeah, I'll, I'll happily swap them. And maybe with a bit of money for an opened one, as long as it's mint and all complete and everything. Yeah. Well, you see, that's what I'm saying. Well, if you'll trade it, because that's... People in the comments were saying... Would you have opened like a rare game? In no, if it was a rare game, I'd have sold it and used some money to buy an open game and have money in my pocket, which was fair enough. But why? Why did you do that with another game then? Because you thought Chris, it was a cheap game. Chris, I've got dot three uh, D dot heroes up there still sealed. I can't. I don't. 
I, I don't think I can bring myself to open that. That's on the PS3. You know, it's, just, it's not just PS2. I don't begrudge people who do it, though. No, don't get us wrong. Like, don't get us wrong. Yeah, like let's say Wii U era, maybe two generations ago. I don't think you should be opening games from two generations ago because you can easily get an open copy, very easily of most games. Two generations, you can still quite easily get sealed copies. Yeah, but why? Why would you buy? I don't know. I'm, I'm just beating on the bush here. I'm going on circles talking, but it's just. Leave them sealed. Yeah, if you don't click sell games, fair enough, that's up to you. But don't buy games and like say let's liberate this game and open it. Where you're just taking a chance away from other people who maybe want to own that game sealed. Well, not really. Well why not? Because they're still out there for people to buy. There's one less he's, now though. He's just possibly bumped the price up for somebody who's already got it. But it might have been about the price. They should have bought it. These might not care about the price, they might just want it sale just for having the collection sale. They might just be one for a sale collection. Do you, do you buy games for price? Do you get games sick for a price? Well, if I know they're going to go up, I'll get it before it gets too expensive. You just buy games because you buy games. Yeah, yeah, pretty much I. I don't know, for me, I, I, I've, I've spoke to you in the past, I think my next step after me Zelda is to get sale Zeldas. Yeah. And yeah. I don't know, but for nothing else, I've got all the games to play, but for me it's artwork, it's a nice piece of art. Just how to sit how there. did the sales make it any more artistful? Because, Arty. I don't know, it's just nice seal that's like... It's not, because it, it's got a red stripe across the front now. It's got extra glare on the packaging. I don't know, it's just something... Why don't want. you all just get it all uh, graded? Mm. Well, I don't know. Let's say the same. Why? Where to get graded? Uh, yeah. Why well, don't you pay somebody to say, "Yeah, that's good. I'll give that eighty-five." Right. Cool. I've been <laughs> thinking about this. Or silver. Nobody knows the difference, but I'm going to say silver. I've been thinking about this, and after talking to Chris, oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know. M m maybe, Rook, right? maybe, maybe it is the way to go because I'm, the thing is right. The, you are. It's up. The way he was talking is all right. If you if you a collector who collects sealed games, why won't you want the best sealed game you can get? The different who, quality of the sale. One's better than the other. These people who look at them and decide. Nah. <laughs> I can't stand that. I, you know what? It wouldn't bother us <clears throat> if they were doing it to open game. Need like the, the instructions and the disc and everything in the box, all that. If you took everything into account, not just the way that it's got this hold yeah. on the seal. Well, you can get open gamers graded. Well, that that doesn't bother us. It's where where's one of my seal cards? Ah, it's up there somewhere. Oh, I know what you're saying. Where if the if the crease on the top yeah. is a fold or it's got a tiny rip in the back or anything like that. Yeah. Like that seal there. It's like, oh, that 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 little corner there is not quite flat. Yeah. I'll knock ten points off that for that. It's like, give our one man away. Don't be stupid. <laughs> I can I can sort of understand boxed as well, because boxed do get crushed yeah. and damaged and everything. But when you're grading a PS2 game, you know, unless there's a chunk out of the plastic or something, what is the difference? I've seen people pay, I've, I've seen people say uh, grading 360 games, and he was going on about it on Facebook, and someone says, "Why would you? Why would you grade a 360?" And he, he started getting on this rant about how hard it is to get a pristine copy 360 game sealed, still and all that, because some of it perishes on them or some hard in that. Yeah, get out, man. Yeah, but again, no, right? What's the problem with that? If that's what he wants to do, if that's what he clicks. And that's what he does. It's, just, it's the same with anything in the world, all right. On the same token, like he, that guy there was saying, a game is meant to be played. Let's liberate it. I've said to you over this argument. You wouldn't go and buy a rare stamp and then use it and go why stamps are made to be posted. Yeah. 
would you? Or if you were collecting stamps, you wouldn't get one and cut it off an envelope. You'd want it pre-licked. If that, so you'd want it pre-licked. Pre-licked, yeah. <laughs> Wait, if you collect stamps, pre-licked. Why before you lick it, Gav? No, yeah. pre-licked is somebody's licked it for you. <laughs> like yeah, uh, there you are. That's pre-licked. Yeah, you want the pre-licking. <laughs> Yeah, but you know what I'm saying? No, you wouldn't want it that's been on an envelope. You want to collect it. So is that not the same as a gamer wanting a sealed game? Is in a stamp collector wanting a stamp that's pre-licked? <laughs> you know, it's I'm, the not same. Even, I'm not even that bothered about the grading. It's more the way people think it's the holy grail that gets me. We smoke us out a lot of them. And oh, yeah. It's generally only the ones I see on Facebook. I'm sure there's a lot of nice yeah. ones. Just like, do have them for their own collection. It's the ones who show off about it and like. I was going to say it's the elite. Picture and then go, ten grand, winky face or yeah. something like. That. Oh, it's like ah. The elitism of it. That's what gets you. Because at the end of the day, anyone can collect what they want, but it's a smugness that sealed gamers seem to get, isn't it? I'll, I'll, I'll agree with you there. It's not as much sealed gamers. It's the Graded gamers, yeah. Where I mean, some gamers that suddenly they think that their sealed copy is worth an extra thousand pound than their sealed copy yeah. because this is graded and so on. Said it's worth that. Yeah, I mean, I did that. I just it do, each to their own, I suppose, but not for me. Like I said, back to our original topic, I can't bring myself to open that. <laughs> I'll probably just keep this. Yeah. And just buy it again. I mean, that was five quid cheaper than an open copy. Why I bought it? I bought it. Thinking, because there's still loads of sealed versions of this. I, I mean, the bloke who was selling it on eBay sold it for 20 quid, whereas all the rest on eBay were 25, or say the X even 25, and they all opened, you know? So. Why, why, why pay the extra fiver? I might just buy another sale copy and open it. And open it. I, I see. I, I don't. If it's going to save me a fiver, why wouldn't? I, why would I yeah. not? Yeah. You know. Say when you're using that logic, it's <laughs> you can't argue, can you? But no, you can't. I just there but, must be more sealed versions of Persona Four. But it's just pains, yeah. That it's like people like the. It, they're getting smaller in a bundle of sale games, so I don't see why people have got to pay why, the need for buying up. Why are you wanting to preserve the sale game bundle, Chris? What does why, it make any difference? For that whole purpose of preservation. If you go to a museum and you're looking at old whatever, army clothes or right right any museum, you want yeah, them in pristine condition. Gone. You are they'll all have been one. They they won't be still in the shrink wrap or whatever. Well, maybe, package. White army clothes is maybe the wrong thing, but like just other stuff. You go to museums, you want them in pristine condition, and I well, you can still have it in pristine condition. If you go to a museum, would you rather see that, or would you rather see that open with the instructions and the disc? I'd love to see both. Gav, a sale copy there with a note one. You know that I'm right. No, I wouldn't, cause that's yeah, that you, would. you would. You would want to see if I showed you this collector's edition. I just got a collector's edition here. I said, look at that. I just got that. Yeah, that's all you're seeing. Do you not want to see what's inside it? No. Yeah? Do you want but, to see what's inside it? Yes, but you. how bad am I? What am I doing with my Zelda collection? This is, this is, you know what I'm like. So, right. On that same token. I've got this. Yeah. I've got it open, so I can show this on display. I want that again now, so I can have it boxed complete. <laughs> because I like to see things boxed complete, but I like to see them open extra. And that's with most of my stuff, most of my Zelda collection. I'd, I do like to see them both. Chris, you are. Is, what a lot of people tend to do there is they'll put the sword on top of the box. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. 
It's just another, we're having another ramble rant about nothing going on in circles. I've just seen this video and it just, it riled us. I don't know, I just don't know. Riled this is the smugness of the bloke who opened it. That's what riled you. Yeah. Not the fact that it's opening a single game. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. I don't know. If you ever open a sale game, Gav, I'll... I'll I've I'll... opened loads of sale games, so have you. Every game out there has opened loads of sale games. Yeah, but not from like two, two sale... generations or more. The amount of Super NES games, I must have opened 20 Super NES sale games. How long ago? 20 years ago? Oh, yeah, going back, but still, <laughs> brand new, I opened it. I broke that sale, Chris. Yeah. I just ripped the. I probably ripped the tab open as well. You know, I wouldn't. Have, I mean, don't get it wrong. Later on, I, I did tend to take care of the meat boxes, but when I was a young man, I didn't. Yeah. I still kept them, but I, I wasn't delicate. I don't know. Well, let, let's put it down there, our viewers, though. Eh? What, 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 what did he think? What, what do you lovely people think about the whole opening of a sale game and how gen, how many generations? Do you think the PS2s? Yeah. Worth, pres worth pre 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 that word. Preserved. Yeah. Because come on, no one, no one would really. A museum. Would you like to see a game open with all the insides, or would you just like to see a sealed game? And I know the whole games meant to be played thing, but who are we to say how, what people collect? If they want to collect sealed games and they want to keep it that way, that's up to them, isn't it? Yeah. But if somebody wants, in the same token, if someone wants to buy a sealed game to play it, what's the difference between buying a brand new car and buying a second hand car? It's brand new. Nobody's played it before, nobody's owned it, nobody's drove it, there's no miles on. It's yours. Yeah, but that's it's a brand the new. Only person to have that, one owner. Yeah, but if he's getting a car that's released, for, that was made in the 1960s. Yeah. Brand new off the line, that's never been drove before. He'll probably get uh, it and take... So he wouldn't be allowed to drive it. No, he'll probably get it and take care of it, Gav. He wouldn't just say, cars meant to be driven he and go and they would flog it around. And... He'd no. still drive it, though. He'd still use it. No. He... No. If, say You're my... losing. You lost the argument, Chris. Bye. Now, my argument is, if you have the choice of buying a sale game and an open game, why would you purposely buy a sale game? Just to open why. That's why I've bought all my sale games. No. I wouldn't pay more for one. Unless it was like a couple of quid. I wouldn't pay double or whatever people ask for them. I wouldn't pay ten or more. Yeah. If I could get an open mint condition for the same price as a sale, I'd probably get the sale. No, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Rent over. <laughs> <laughs> did that one get you there did it Chris <laughs> I know I'm fighting a losing battle I just wanted to get it off my chest yeah yeah you, you gave it a good effort Chris but we'll see yeah. what the see what the viewer says I text Gavin disgusted now <laughs> oh yeah you couldn't wait to go into work the next morning and tell us all about it could you <laughs> right well I hope you've enjoyed that ramble on there uh, You'll probably have many more of these. I quite, I quite enjoyed it, actually, Chris. It was nice. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, thanks for watching, everyone, and uh, we shall see you all in the next video. Yeah. Bye. Me, I won. Well, the venue won. It wasn't... Was, was that, a, like, a, an argument or something? Like, I was just having a chat, Gav. Oh, were you? I, I turned it into an argument. It did, and you lost. <laughs> Bye.